Hi, my name is Evan Archella, and I'd like to show you some tips and tricks for Microsoft Live at EDU. Let's take a look at Microsoft Office web apps in SkyDrive. Here's a SkyDrive folder where I've uploaded some Office documents. If I was to hover over one of these documents, let's take this Word document for example, you'll see a number of different capabilities or commands that are related to this particular file. If I click this file name again, it will open up what we call the Word web app. Office web apps come in four flavors, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. They were introduced with the Office 2010 launch and integrated into SkyDrive. What you see here is the Word web app read view. There's a couple of things that you can do within the read view. For example, if I use the zoom tool here, I can go out to the full page and show you that this is what we call a high fidelity or full fidelity view of this document. So it looks here exactly as it would look if I was using the full Word application. You can see that I have a photo here at the bottom of this document. If I go down a page, I also have a piece of smart art that I've been working with within this particular file. Again, you're going to see it here as exactly as it would have looked if I was using the full Word application. On the left-hand side, you'll see a file button or a file tab. If you click this, you'll find a number of options that are related to this particular document. And on the right-hand side of that, you'll find a find button where you can actually perform a search of keywords that may appear within this particular file. So if I was to do a search for the word Contoso, you can see it highlights all of the results, gives me a listing over here in the left-hand side of all of those different hits, and I could jump to any of those with a click. Now, if I want to actually edit this document, I have a couple of choices. The first one is I could edit it directly here within the browser. To do that, if I click Edit in Browser, it will open up the edit mode of the Word web app. And I do not need Office installed locally on my PC to be able to use the edit mode of the web apps. I'm here now within the Word web app. You can see it has the ribbon across the top. Looks very familiar to Office 2007 or 2010. You'll also notice within the context of the document, you can see the red squiggle here. I've got a misspelled word. If I click that, I can use my proofing tools to correct the spelling, so we're not leaving anything like proofing tools behind when we're working here within the browser. You'll also notice from a formatting standpoint, I have all of my basic formatting tools here across the top. I even have access to things like styles, which are predefined formatting. If I wanted to put a title on this document, for example, we can format that first line of text as a title. Go ahead and drop down a line here. Let's type some new text directly with in this particular document. Go ahead and apply a style to that as well. Let's make this a subtitle. Now you'll notice as I'm typing here, you can see I've got a little gray box called picture here on the bottom of this paragraph. And if I scroll down, you'll see another one for smart art. So you can remember those two elements that were there within the context of the read view. Well, those elements cannot be edited within the browser. But I need to know where they are, that they're still in fact in the document. So the web app gives me a placeholder that lets me know where those, those objects are and I'm able to continue working around them when I'm in the browser uh, view, in, in the edit view here within the web app. Now, if I need to edit those items, I have the option of opening this document in the full application. So we could open this up in Word, for example, and what you're going to see here is Word 2010. Now, I could have opened this in 2007, 2003 with the compatibility pack. I just happen to be using 2010, so I can show you a couple of the capabilities of this version as we're working with the web apps. Now, I would have to have Office installed locally on my machine in order to be able to go into the full application, but doing so gives me access to tools that I didn't have within the browser. Now, because this is a web-based document, Office 2010 wants me to enable the editing for this file so I can click enable editing I'm now able to access all the capabilities of Word 2010 a couple things I want to do here let's just scroll down to that smart art here's the smart art it was not editable in the browser but it is editable within the full application so I can go ahead and finish out this particular diagram also I want to show you something on the view tab you'll see a checkbox for the navigation pane. We used to call this the document map. It's actually a little bit different now in terms of the functionality. You can see here a listing of all the different headings within the document. So if you use styles, which I encourage you to do so, you can see that each of these here is basically a style heading that I've incorporated in the document. It shows up over in the navigation pane. The nice thing about that is you can basically jump to any section of the document simply by clicking its location in the navigation pane. You can also take these sections and rearrange them. So it's very easy 
easy to take something like our mission statement here and go ahead and just drag it up above the positioning statement and rearrange this document just by dragging through the navigation pane. So a couple of different uh, capabilities that you may be interested in within Office 2010. When you're ready to save it, up at the top you'll see a save icon with a little revolving green arrow. That means that what you're basically doing here when you save is synchronizing the changes back to the version that's stored within the SkyDrive. So when I close this, we'll go back to our SkyDrive, and you can see we've recently updated this file. Now if you hover over that file, you'll also see something called version history. So as you open and save documents within the SkyDrive, it tracks a version history for those files. So you can see here in version history, I could actually go back in time to the original version of this document, restore it up as the current version, and be able to get back if I needed to undo certain changes that have been made along the way. So we call that version history. It's incorporated into SkyDrive. Let me give you a few resources for Live at EDU. Microsoft.com slash Live at EDU is the main Live at EDU website. You can learn more about the program there. You'll also find the Live at EDU blog to be a useful place for learning about what's new with these tools, things that may be coming along, different changes that we're making. You'll also find help.outlook.com to be a helpful place for the Outlook Live application itself. This is the same place you can get to if you go to the little blue circle with the white question mark in it within the Outlook Live application itself. Both ways will take you to help.outlook.com. Also, if you go to Bing, do a search for Office Web Apps Product Guide. You'll get a detailed PDF on all the features that are included in our Office Web Apps applications, which are now integrated into SkyDrive. Thanks again for your time today. I look forward to having you on another screencast.